waiting for you. Commissioner? Yes. Mr. Morgan has been waiting very patiently for you. I told him you'd step away from your office. Uh, thank you, Sergeant. Yes. Or me? Hey, hey, please. I am so sorry that I had my assistant reach out to you instead of calling you myself. No, that's okay. But so it means you're not too busy to come to dinner tonight, because... <sighs> Robert got to like level 20 of fortune quest and he really wants to tell you about it. Yeah, I hate to disappoint Rocco, but I can't come to dinner tonight. What? Is, is everything okay? No. I have to go to Silverwater. Something's not right with Lulu. I don't care if she's in court or what client she has. I need to speak to her. Assault and attempted murder? That's ridiculous. The victim would disagree. Victim? Ava Jerome is nobody's victim. Only because you didn't succeed. Christina. Don't say another word. Exactly when did this alleged assault take place? Thursday, August 1st, approximately 10.30 a.m. So the altercation you're referencing is the one where Christina crashed through a window, fell three stories into a swimming pool, and Ava Jerome walked away without a hair on her head out of place? That assault? I am not going to litigate this in the middle of a hospital. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't have a law license, so you won't be litigating anything. Figure of speech. Now, come on, step aside. I'm taking the perp to the PCPD. Wait, Ava attacked me. She nearly killed me. She didn't kill my baby. Don't speak. Agent Case, regardless of the veracity of your claim, which is shaky, at best, you cannot arrest Christine. Except I just did. Except you're out of your jurisdiction. I'm a federal agent. The entire country is my jurisdiction. This is a local incident, and as such, will be handled by the Port Charles District Attorney's Office. Where do you work? It won't be me handling the case, as I am the actual victim's sister and a witness to your harassing her. Then let me take this off the local plate. Christina made a criminal threat against a material witness in an ongoing FBI investigation, which means this is absolutely within my jurisdiction. It's odd. Cody's not out back. He's not in the stable. I know I told him that we were going to go riding this afternoon. Where could he be? Um, Leo told me Cody lives upstairs. Maybe he's up there. In the middle of the afternoon? Well, there's only one way to find out. Cody! Cody! Oh my god, that's Tracy. Maybe if I had to just go away. It's Tracy. Touche. You locked the door, right? I'll be right down, Tracy. Just give me a minute. Christina received a subpoena from Ava Jerome's lawyer, compelling her to testify against her father, Sonny Corinthos. Christina then went to the victim's hotel suite. She confronted Miss Jerome and threatened to kill her if she was forced to testify against Sonny. That's not what Christina. When Miss Jerome refused to be intimidated by Christina's threats, she flew into a rage. She attacked Miss Jerome, and in the struggle, that's when Christina crashed through the hotel window. That's not even That's, true. Right. That's, That's, not what That's what Ava Jerome says happened. And thanks to the photos you so generously provided, the evidence corroborates her statement. The photos show Ava with her hands on Christina, not the other way around. She was defending herself. She was sending her off balance out of a window. Well, now it's for the courts to decide. Come on, get up. Don't move. This is abuse. This is harassment. This is a threat to her physical health and to your employment. Christina was being discharged. She was, in fact, leaving when I arrived. To go home to a clean bed, not to be dragged off to a police station and thrown in a dirty cell. Jagger, my daughter's in a wheelchair. You just can't walk around. I am telling you, if you insist on this, I will call the ACLU, the DOJ, the FBI, and the local press your choice. Fine. Bring the wheelchair. Don't do anything, don't say anything, and I mean nothing, do you understand? I'll be right behind you. We better fix this with you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. All right, we'll be. You can't come. We can't risk any suggestions.